Over the weekend, uh, the California Republican Party convention uh, happened, and there were some buttons that were being passed around that were a little controversial. Now, Republicans are already freaking out about Hillary Clinton possibly running in 2016, so they want to spread as much anti-Hillary propaganda as possible. So these buttons basically made fun of her, and some might call them a little sexist, but I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let's take a look at hmm. the picture. Uh, it says KFC Hillary special, two fat thighs, two small breasts left wing <laughs> oh, you got her you're making a comment on her appearance zinger yeah well it's that's so the political low it's so low it's the politically mature thing to do but you see Anna they don't have a war on women they're trying to reach out to women by mocking them. I actually love this, okay? And I don't love it because I believe in, in the message that they're spreading. I love it because they're still so oblivious to the Latino vote. They're so oblivious to women. And they continue to put their foot in their mouths. And I love it. Keep doing it. Uh, it, it shows us what you're really about. It, yeah. Now, it, after it got reported, of course, there was a little bit of a panic, yeah. right? And now this is the California GOP of all things, right? So they're like, buttons that show what we actually think? Oh my God, panic time, take him down, take him down. Yeah. So then there was a series of tweets sent out. Yes, so uh, this was actually originally reported by uh, San Francisco Chronicle writer Carla uh, Marinucci. And she basically tweeted, less than an hour after we first tweeted, appears offensive Hillary bu buttons gone from California GOP. Many here also appalled. But it's just funny because after she sends out a tweet and after she reports on this, of course they're going to take it down. I like how they're pretending as if like, oh, we're so offended that some rogue person was passing out these buttons no you guys have proven over and over again that this is the kind of mentality and thought process you have toward women you do it in your policy uh, in your policy suggestions you do it with you know the interviews that you give in the media and the stupid things you say about women so it, it, and I'm not buying it I'm not buying that they were appalled yeah now Anna can you imagine if you went to like a Democratic convention in California and remember Meg Whitman was a Republican candidate for governor and you saw a button said, ha ha, Meg Whitman, she's got flabby thighs. I would be like, what? Why is that even <laughs> relevant to what we're talking about? Would you think that that was an effective way to reach out to you as a female voter? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, that the reason I bring that up is because not only are they clueless, but like, I don't think they'd they recognize how offended women at that convention would get. I mean, Republican women. I know that they got a lot of Republican women who are pro-life and all this stuff and pro-cutting taxes, whatever you want, right? But I don't think any woman looks at that and goes, yeah, Hillary, <laughs> fat thighs, tiny tits, <laughs> we got her, right? No, that's why I say that if you have a vagina and you vote for a Republican, you're a moron. They're not rooting for you. Okay, you might believe in some of their policy, but at the end of the day, the men in that party look down on you. They think that you're less than. They think that you're something to be objectified. And I know this sounds like a crazy feminist rant, but think about that for a second. Instead of attacking Hillary Clinton because of her ideology, they're attacking her breast size. How low and stupid is that? And by the way, to your point about how women get turned off by this, I mean, you just look at polls and it indicates that women are not buying Republicans at all. A recent National Journal poll found that 33% of women believe the GOP has drifted further away from them, while only 14% believe that the Republican Party is closer to them in viewpoint since losing the election in 2012. Now understand that that's not 33 to 14 overall, that's 33 to 14 going in the wrong direction since 2012 election, which was already a disaster for the Republicans. And it's because of stuff like this. It's bad optics, it's because it reveals to us what you actually think. Now of course not all Republicans in California, right? But obviously it's significant enough that they thought they'd do good business by selling these buttons. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's not the first example, it's one of dozens and dozens of examples all across the country. That's why people think that perhaps you're not really that you know, hip on women's rights. Exactly.